Hello, YouTube. Last time we looked at the method of fixing the barrel cracking problem suffered by the Jinhao 992. Link below. This time we'll have a closer look at it, along with the Lingmo Lorelei. As you can see, these two pens look very much alike. The reason is that they are both homages of the Sailor Pro Color 500. As I stated before, we're not going to talk about the validity of making homage products, but to examine them as what they are. While I do not have a Pro Color 500, it is besides the point, and it is not a competition to see who can make one that is closest to the original. Let's have a look at the Lorelei first. According to the papers that came with the pen, the material used for it is polycarbonate, a costly and strong material that's tough enough for making crash helmets. So it is very unlikely that it would suffer cracks like the 992. The cartridge converter fitting is stainless standard, but there are some differences. Here is an original Sailor converter for comparison. You can see the Lorelei's converter has an extra metal ferrule at the end to strengthen it further. That aside, I would consider them as cross-compatible. Although fitting to and removing from the Lorelei section, it takes a bit of extra effort. The most interesting point about the Lorelei is the front end. The nib and feet employed are of pilot standard, meaning that the nib has two downward pointing wings and it is clipped to the feet at the corresponding recesses. In that way, the relative positions are fixed. Lately, a fair few Chinese-made pens have adopted this pilot standard, including the Victor Butte Wing Zungs and the Calliard's Ego Piston Villa. In fact, the feet in the Lorelei is identical to that in the Calliard's, both with thin tails. And as Calliard's can supply black feet upon request, it is also able to fit one to the Lorelei as well. With a larger diameter plug that goes into the Sailor standard cartridge converter, the plug has very thick walls indeed. Another detail worth mentioning is that the plug that goes into the end of the Lorelei barrel is hollow. This is expensive to manufacture and it exerts no extra load against the perimeter of the hole. The Jinhao 992 is quite a different kettle of fish altogether. The cartridge converter standard is meant to be international but there are varying reports on how international cartridges work. If you're like me, preferring to use bottled inks, the included converter would do the job quite well. Another point is that the front end is, I admit, quite outstanding. The nib and feed as used in many other Jinhao models are fitted into a screw-in nib unit. While it requires another moulding for the sleeve, the section becomes much simpler to reduce and easier on the material. The nip unit sleeve even has the Jinhao logo moulded into a side, so it's quite a nice touch. Another point is that Jinhao added a very small gasket at the front end of the nip unit. When fitted to the section, it seals the space between it and the inside of the section. So when you're filling the pen, no ink would seep into this space, not only making it for a neater appearance, but it makes cleaning between changing inks a little easier. So it's a rather thoughtful touch. So considering these pens, the Lorelei sells at a fraction of the cost of the Pro Color, and the 992 a fraction of it again. So both are firmly in the affordable category. If you base your choice purely on a ticket price, the 992 is an amazing buy. 
But even if you have performed my operation for the prevention of cracking barrels from the end, breakage is still an ever-present spectre due to the brittle material. The Lorelei, on the other hand, is designed and built tough, and the access to a variety of specialist pilot nibs might be a very attractive proposition as well. On top of that, both brands offer different variety of colours, and that might tip the balance. Of course, if you want a proper sailor, just go for the pro colour and be happy about it. I hope this is interesting, and I'll be back with new content soon. Bye for now.